The jury is still deciding the case against former Cuyahoga County Commissioner Jimmy DeMora. They went home for the day just about 15 minutes ago. News Channel 5 Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us now. And Ron, did the jury request anything special today? No special request today, Lee. Uh, yesterday, of course, they did have one question. They've asked for a few items to help kind of make sense out of all this, you know, pens and uh, boards and markers and paper clips. Today was an all business day. They didn't start until 10. They had a few hours this morning to go vote, but they did uh, stay at it for about six hours today. As you just mentioned, they broke it off about 4.30 this afternoon. So all together, they have uh, deliberated about 23 hours now. And again, to refresh you, it's a 37 count indictment. So there's a lot to go through on this case. There are uh, more than 70 witnesses, and it's, it's a big job for them to try to keep track of all of the testimony, who said what, and all of the evidence, Lee. You mentioned 37 counts in the indictment. Are there any one of these particular counts that you think the jury could be having a hard time with? Well, here's one way to look at this. They've been hard at it for three-plus days. I think it's an indication that they're really, really knuckling down and trying to look at everything. But to your question, perhaps one or two counts, maybe count eight jumps out at me. This is an, uh, uh, count eight alleges that uh, Jimmy DeMora got free limousine rides and access to a condominium for personal sexual liaisons. And all of this was provided to him by the former chief of staff at the county engineer's office. This is important because later the government alleges that when the engineer's office went to the county commissioners, Jimmy DeMora essentially voted for agenda items on behalf of the county um, engineer's office. So that was the kind of the quid pro quo. The jury has to decide whether that was just doing business for uh, official business for the county and not a bribe. Reporting live from the federal courthouse in Akron, I'm Chief Investigator Ron Reed. All right, so the jury's back tomorrow morning, and as soon as that verdict comes in, we'll have it live here on the air, online, and of course on your mobile device. Thanks, Ron.